I've been informed that the uh, jury has a verdict. I want to uh, repeat my comments from last week. Uh, the jury has a very difficult job to do. These are emotional proceedings. However, they should remain dignified in any outbursts or expression of emotions through the verdict or while the verdict is being read is not, not acceptable to the courts. If you can't withhold your emotions, then I would ask you to leave. Uh, bring the jury in. Okay, the jury's present and seated. You may be seated. As your number one of five, I've been informed that you have a verdict. You can hand it to the bailiff, please. Seventh Judicial Circuit in and for Volusia County, Florida, State of Florida versus Louis Toledo, case number 2013-102-888. Sentence verdict count one, Michael Elijah Otto. We the jury find as follows as to Louis Toledo in this case. Aggravating factors as to count one. One, we the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that shows Mr. Toledo was previously convicted of another capital felony and or a felony involving the use or threat of violence to another person. No. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator of, of the first degree murder and was committed for the purpose of avoiding or preventing a lawful arrest. No. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator of first degree murder was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that Michael Elijah Otto was a person less than 12 years of age. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that the existence of the aggravator that Michael Elijah Otto was particularly vulnerable because Mr. Toledo stood in a position of familial or custodial authority. Yes. Section B, sufficiency of the aggravating factors as to count one. Reviewing the aggravating factors that we unanimously found to be established beyond a reasonable doubt, Section A, we, the jury, unanimously find that the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant a possible sentence of death. Yes. Section C, statutory mitigating circumstances as to count one, we, the jury, find that the capacity of Mr. Toledo to appreciate the criminality of his conduct or to conform his conduct to the requirements of law was substantially impaired, was established by greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote of 1 to 11. 2A. We the jury find that on the day and night of the crime of the defendant's mental capacity to conform his behavior to the constraints of the law was substantially impaired by mental illness, was established by greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo spent time as an inpatient child, inpatient in the child psychiatric ward of Mount Sinai Hospital in New York for seven months as a nine-year-old child was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was diagnosed with behavioral issues as a child it, and that he attended Walter J. Damroche School in New York was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo suffered the sudden death of his mother, Ada La Santa, to a heart attack in 2002 was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo is a loving family member, brother, cousin, and uncle, was established by the greater weight of 
the evidence? No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has attempted to better his life by obtaining his GED and enrolling in technical college and was technical college was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a long history of head injuries and concussions was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote two to ten. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of being admitted to the hospital for multiple physical injuries was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote twelve zero. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has many disabilities and attended special education classes. The entire time he was in school was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote two to ten. We the jury find that the defendant was attending trade school, Barber College, to better his life was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote twelve zero. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of varied employment, including construction, masonry, the fast food industry, and collections, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote twelve zero. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has and maintains a relationship with his 16-year-old daughter was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was generous with his time and helped his friends, including helping Robin Roberts when she ran out of gas, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has demonstrated grief and remorse was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that on October 26, 2013, Mr. Toledo tried to kill himself, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 11 to 1. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has, we the jury find that Mr. Toledo had an abnormal psychiatric history as a child was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's father, C. Carlos Alberto Toledo, died of ALS at the age of 39, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12 0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's family lived in public housing in the Bronx, New York, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12 0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has the capacity to form loving relationships even while incarcerated, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote four to eight. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was shot in the head and face and still has pellets in his head. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12 zero. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo attended church and is religious was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote two. Good behavior during trial was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 11 to 1. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo had a good relationship with his parents, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 9 to 3. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has been emotionally unstable since he was a young child and was, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 12 to 0. We the jury find that according to his educational records, Mr. Toledo had a poor school record and was required to attend special <coughs> education classes, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo dropped out of school in the ninth grade but earned his GED while incarcerated, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was the caregiver of his dying father, was, the, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 10 2. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of cutting himself, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's mother died while he was incarcerated and he never got to grieve properly, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, Vote four to eight. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was involved in a car accident in the year 2000, which rendered him unconscious and in the hospital for four days was established by the greater weight of the evidence. 
yes, vote 2 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a very rare IQ score, leaving him in the bottom 2% of the general population. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a defective frontal lobe, which affects his impulse control. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a defective temporal lobe, which produces seizures, which produces seizures, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote three to nine. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has had grand mal seizures since the age of nine, nine years old, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote six to six. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has early symptoms of amyotropic lateral sclerosis also known as ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has bipolar disorder, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a seizure disorder, established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 5 to 7. Eligibility for the death penalty for count one. We, the jury, unanimously find that the aggravating factors that were proven beyond a reasonable doubt outweigh the mitigating circumstances established as to count one. Yes. Jury verdict as to death penalty count one, having unanimously found that at least one aggravating factor has been established beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant the sentence of death and the aggravating factors outweigh the mitigating circumstances, we the jury unanimously find that Lewis Toledo should be sentenced to death. No. Our vote, is, our vote to impose the life sentence is 10 to 2. If you're dated this third day of November 2017, St. Joe's County, Florida, Miller, four person. Okay, you'll publish the second verdict, please. Sentence verdict count two, Dalia Otto. We the jury find the fo as follows as to Lewis Toledo in this case. Aggravating factors as to count two. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that shows Mr. Toledo was previously convicted of another capital felony and or a felony involving the use or threat of violence to another person. No. We the jury unanimously, unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that the first degree murder was committed for the purpose of avoiding or preventing a lawful arrest. No. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that the first degree murder was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner. <clears throat> without any pretense of moral or legal justification. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that Dalia Otto was a person less than 12 years of age. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravator that Dalia Otto was particularly vulnerable because Mr. Toledo stood in a position of familial or custodial authority. Yes. Sufficiency of the aggravating factors as to count two. Reviewing the aggravating factors that we unanimously found to be established beyond a reasonable doubt, we the jury unanimously find that the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant a possible sentence of death. Yes. Statutory mitigating circumstances as to count two. We the jury find that the capacity of Mr. Toledo to appreciate the criminality of his conduct or to conform his conduct to the requirements of law was substantially impaired, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote one to 11. We the jury find that on the day and night of the crime, the defendant's mental capacity to conform his behavior to the constraints of the law was substantially impaired by mental illness was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 1 to 11. 
We the jury find that Mr. Toledo spent time as an inpatient, as an inpatient in the child psychiatric ward of Mount Sinai Hospital in New York for seven months as a nine-year-old child was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote two to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was diagnosed with behavior issue, issues as a child and that he attended Walter J. Damrosh School in New York was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo suffered the sudden death of his mother, Ada La Santa, to a heart attack in 2002, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo is a loving family member, brother, cousin, and uncle, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has attempted to better his life by obtaining his GED and, in, and enrolling in technical college was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a long history of head injuries and concussions was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of being admitted to the hospital or multiple physical injuries was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has many disabilities and attended special education classes the entire time he was in school was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that the defendant was attending trade school, Barber College, to better his life was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of varied employment, including construction, masonry, the fast food industry, and collections. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has and maintains his relationship with his 16-year-old daughter. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 1-11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was generous with his time and his help and helped his friends, including helping Robin Roberts when she ran out of gas, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has demonstrated grief and remorse was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that on October 26, 2013, Mr. Toledo tried to kill himself was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 11 to 1. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo had an abnormal psychiatric history as a child. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence. No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's father, C. Carlos Alberto Toledo, died of ALS at the age of 39. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 12 0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's family lived in public housing in the Bronx, New York was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has the capacity to form loving relationships even while incarcerated, was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote 4-8. to eight. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was shot in the head and face and still has pellets in his head, was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo attended church and is religious, was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote of 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo demonstrated good behavior during trial, was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote 11 to 1. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo had a good relationship with his parents, was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes, vote 9 to 3. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has been emotionally unstable since he was a young child. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that according to his educational records, Mr. Toledo had a poor school record and was required to attend special education classes. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 12-0. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo dropped out of school in the ninth grade but earned his GED while incarcerated. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? No. 
We the jury found that Mr. Toledo was a caregiver for his dying father, was established by the greater weight of his evidence of the evidence. Yes. Vote of ten to two. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a history of cutting himself, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes. Vote two to ten. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's mother died while he was incarcerated. He never got to grieve properly. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence. <clears throat> yes, vote four to eight. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo was involved in a car accident in the year 2000, which rendered him unconscious and in the hospital for four days. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote two to ten. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a very rare IQ score, leaving him in the bottom 2% of the general population. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? No. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a defective frontal lobe, which affects his impulse control. Was established by the greater weight of the evidence? Yes. Vote 2 to 10. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has a defective temporal lobe, which produces seizures was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote three to nine. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has had grand mal seizures since the age of three years old was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote six to six. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has early symptoms of amyotropic lateral sclerosis also known as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo has bipolar disorder, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 1 to 11. We the jury find that Mr. Toledo's, Mr. Toledo has a seizure disorder, was established by the greater weight of the evidence. Yes, vote 5 to 7. Eligibility for the death penalty for count two. We the jury unanimously find that the aggravating factors that were proven beyond a reasonable doubt outweigh the mitigating circumstances established as to count two. Yes. Jury verdict as to death penalty as to count two. Having unanimously found that, a, that at least one aggravating factor has been established beyond a reasonable doubt, the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant a sentence of death and the aggravating factors outweigh the mitigating circumstances, we the jury unanimously find that Louis Toledo should be sentenced to death? No. Dated this third day, November. You need to read the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Our vote to impose the sentence of life is 10 to 2. It dated this third day of November 2017, St. Johns County, Florida, no four person. Great, thank you. Uh, I will pull the jury at this time. Uh, jewel number 105, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Yes. Jewel number 132, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Number 26, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror number 160, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Yes. One member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Juror number 100, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror number 152, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror yes. number 45, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Yes. Juror number 76, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror number 62, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror number 44, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole? Juror number 137, do you agree that at least one member of the jury voted for a sentence 
of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your time and consideration of this case. I also wish to advise you some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by a court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you're also at liberty to refuse to speak with, with anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious, from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It is up to you to decide whether you wish to preserve your privacy as a juror. This concludes your jury service. I want to go ahead and excuse you at this time if you'll follow the bailiff, and I'll have your excuse for work in a moment. Okay, counsel, do you have any uh, requests? Hearing for uh, January the 19th, three and four are not capatic life sentence at that time. Okay. Thanks. Uh,